Hi guys, thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today is a daily affirmation. You know, we sit there and we think about what we want to do in our futures and we always concentrate on the end of that goal. What is it that you want to achieve? So we all say, I want a good house, I want the best car, I want this job, I'm going to get my degrees and we look at our things that we set as goals but we don't realize the processes involved with achieving it so today i want to talk to you not about achieving our goals but how do we achieve those steps involved to make our goals a reality okay first thing is to break everything down if you say to yourself okay i'm going to save up and buy a new house that's my goal then what are you doing to start saving money so you break it down and you say okay I presently use this product that's ten dollars if I buy the cheaper version for five that's five dollars a week I can put in through the bank see how we do it in baby steps because baby steps is what it's all about when we're trying to realize our goals or our dreams okay so when we start thinking okay i'm going to get this degree to my name okay you don't instantly think okay i've got my bachelor's now okay but my bachelor takes four years to get so you would break it down into the modules you break it down into your semesters or learning curves you break it down into your session plans so you think okay today i'm just going to struggle with this part okay because the big thing about when we start realizing goals and dreams we have this grandeur of I'm getting a big house yay and believe me we can do this through the law of attraction okay but when we say okay there is something that I've got to do on my own how do I accomplish this break it down into little baby steps and then give yourself that reward when you get another step closer to what it is that you want to achieve okay so let's just say when I was doing my PhD I started off with a bachelor degree so every module that I got with my bachelor's degree when I got that certificate I was proud I was showing that to everybody annoying some every couple of weeks when I was finishing a new module but the whole thing was I was acknowledging the step that I was making that was leading to the progression of that dream okay so we don't have to say okay I'm going to inundate myself today with all this stuff to do we break it down into little baby steps and we say right what can I achieve today that's still going towards my goal but it's not going to stress me out and make me not want to do this okay because that's the big thing so many people start projects and they don't ever finish them because they give up because they're looking at the end result rather than the little steps involved that accumulate on every little step of the way that leads to that ultimate goal okay I like watching all the house renovation movies videos and shows out there how many times does someone go to a handyman turns up at the house he turns up the half done kitchen and the guy said I started this three years ago three years ago and it's and it looks like you've only done like two weeks work because he's imagining that what it looks like at the end result rather than each cabinet that he updates as a step you do one cabinet then you do the next then you do the next so the big thing here is planning so I always say it's good to make a plan of what we want to do in our future yes that's great today I'm going to do this today I'm going to do that tomorrow I'm going to do that right make a diary of all the things that we want to do but when do we make a diary of what we have achieved Wow let's do this on this flip side the perspective here okay so you get yourself a blank pen and paper and you write down this is now nearly September so what did I do in August 
What did I do in July? What did I do in June? May? April? What did I do in all those months? So you make it so then you can look back and you say, right, I had a really productive March. But then April, May got icky. And look what I accomplished in June. Then I had two months of ick, ick, but then what happened two months after that? So now we're learning our own routines. So then we can say, okay, my body and my lifestyle, etc. I have two months where I don't do much, but then I have a month of really good. So this month, which is really good, I'm going to get in and get as much done as possible. Because history does always repeat. It's like a split end song. History always repeats. Okay, tell myself before I go to sleep. Okay, but at the end of the day, when we sit there and we look at our past and we say, right, I've got this routine. I like doing that. I like doing this. What can I do? So my routines and habits don't really change, but I'm accomplishing more. Boom, because this is when we're identifying that we are wanting to be better people, okay? If we look at last month and we say, oh God, I've got nothing done, how does that make you feel? Do you feel worthless? Do you feel like you've got no value? Do you feel like, oh my God, I've wasted a whole month? Never say that. Because every day we do do things, even if it's just staying in bed all day, thinking about other stuff. We've accomplished something because we put so much onus onto expectations of what other people think and believe to be proactive. Okay. I was reading this thing just this morning about a janitor and he contacted, he went to his 20th year anniversary and he actually wore his janitor uniform to the 20th year anniversary reunion at his school. Everyone was snarling and said, look at you, you're just a janitor. But he turned, he actually got up onto the microphone and he said, you, you wanted to be a big accountant in high school. Look at you now, you're a family man, you work at a bank. You're not an accountant, you're just a clerk in a bank. You, you were the biggest maths professor. You could have gone and done all this with that dream. But now you've gone into this. Me, I had no dreams or goals, but I knew that I was going to be self-sufficient. I had a job and I knew at the end of the day, I was going to be proud to be able to walk around wearing my uniform, showing other people that I have confidence, I have support, I can look after other people, including myself. And I am out there telling people it doesn't matter what you do. The fact is that you do it. So it doesn't matter if you want to read a book and you get through the first page and you put it down. The fact is you've already picked it up. The fact that you think, oh yeah, I'm going to write a song. You might only write two lyrics, two lines of lyrics. And you think, well, they rhyme and you put it down, you go away. But the very fact is that you've written those two lines and you can always come back to them later. Because we can only do so much in our life, guys. We can only do enough that our own mental health allows us to do. And we should never, ever feel diminished. We should never, ever feel less valuable or less important because we've only read one page of a book and not the whole volume. People so many times put so much emphasis on who they are based on other people's opinions of us. So get rid of those expectations. If you want to go to work today wearing a clown uniform, do it. If your boss has an issue with you doing it, that's his issue. He might say, justify why you're doing it. And you say, yeah, I'm showing today that we can uplift the morale in this place so we're more productive in the future because morale's down the toilet. I want to show that we can still be funny and still have a life on the outside. We come to work every day and we're still the best version of who we want to be on the inside. I remember driving past a bus stop one day. You know, there's there's a seat with a little shelter. 
There's a queue of people wearing black. They're all going into the city because they're all corporate. They're all sitting there on their phones. But as I drove past, under the shelter, standing on the seat was one girl. She was standing on the seat with her little black skirt, black suit jacket on, and she had the earphones on and she was rocking away to whatever song she was doing. Guess who was doing life right? She did not care about the opinions of all the other people in the queue. She did not care whether they liked rock and roll and she was listening to country. She did not care if her skirt went up and everyone saw her undies. Because she was doing life right. And the more that we think, you know what, this is the person I am. This is who I am. Nobody else is going to tell me that I can't do this. Look at children. They go to school, generally in Australia, they all wear a uniform, so they're already compliant to the regime of society. They can't show their individualism. They can't show that uniqueness of who they are. It's like they're being brought down subservient from the get-go of starting school here in Australia. And that's just the uniform. But at the end of the day, these kids feel that they're so astonishingly negatively bullied if they come out and say, you know what, this is who I am. Don't judge what and who people do and what they do. Don't judge them. Because as soon as we judge someone else, you know what we're actually doing? We're showing that we are the ones with the issue. That we are the ones with so much growth still to do. We're the ones who have still got so much lessons to learn about who and what we are personally. That we have to judge somebody else for not being who we want or like or approve of. Self-approval is when we say to ourselves, I don't give a heck who you are. I'm going to do what I want to do. And you know what? At the end of the day, if you don't like it, that is your issue. If you don't like me, that's on you. You don't have to tell me. You don't have to write negative comments. You don't have to get on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook or TikTok and say, oh, look at this woman. You don't have to do that. All you have to do is simply walk away. Don't respond to it. Because if you respond to it, you're lowering yourself down to the negativity of whatever that other person was doing. So you stand high. You put your chin up. You walk with this air of grace about you. And you say to yourself, I don't give a nick about what anyone else thinks about me I'm going to do what I want to do because I understand that if they have an issue that's on them and at the end of the day I have the, to be the one to then justify why I allowed other people to be the ones who told me what I should be hope this has helped us today guys hope it's all lifted you up a little bit go and have a great day talk to you all soon bye